So you just bought the latest iPhone and you want to transfer the backup that lives on your Mac computer to your newest iPhone. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very fast and very easy. But there's a couple things you need to know before we go ahead and do it. And the first couple of things I want to let you know about are the benefits of doing this and some things you might want to get before trying this. First of all, the benefit to doing this is that it's going to make an exact replica of your iPhone. So if you're somebody that likes to store a lot of pictures, a lot of music, a lot of different things, settings, all sorts of different apps on your iPhone, when you make a backup directly to your Mac, it's going to save all of that exactly as is. And then when, when you restore to a brand new iPhone like we're going to do now in this video, it will be an exact copy of your old phone. So it'll be very streamlined. It'd be like picking up your old phone again, just on a new device. And before this used to take a very long time because when Apple still had the lightning cable with the older devices, with the iPhone 14s and earlier, the transfer speeds were very slow. But now that the newer iPhones come with USB-C, the transfer speeds are a lot faster, which allows you to make a backup relatively quick to your Mac. But there is a caveat to this. The USB-C cable that comes with your new iPhone, this thing here, this does not transfer data at high speeds. So if you're gonna be doing this regularly, I highly recommend you spend the 20 or $30 and buy one of these. This is a Thunderbolt 4 cable. Now the new Mac support Thunderbolt 5. I'll link to one below that you can buy on Amazon from a very reputable company called OWC. Cables are super reliable. And this will increase your transfer speeds by 5X, 10X, no joke. It is so much faster. You just need to make sure that your Mac computer supports Thunderbolt 3 or higher. And you get one of these Thunderbolt cables, you have your new iPhone and you're good to go. So I'm setting up my new iPhone 16 Pro Max. And anybody who saw my 16 Pro Max problems video, this is the fourth one and the last one. So I'm gonna give it one last try and see if it's gonna work. So we're gonna plug in our Thunderbolt cable here and then we're gonna do transfer from Mac or PC. So now we're on the Mac and what we wanna do is go over to this iPhone. It's showing as iPhone, it doesn't show anything in particular because it's a brand new phone. So we wanna do restore from this backup. And I have already made a backup of my 15 Pro Max, but if you haven't done this yet, then check out the video that I have on the screen. I'll also link to it below. If you don't know how to make a backup to your Mac from your iPhone, that video explains everything. It's very easy. And this is basically the part two that a lot of people ask for of how to restore that backup to a new iPhone. So then you go ahead and click continue. It's gonna ask you all of the nonsense. You can sign your life away with Apple here and give them everything except for a blood sample continue all right so it's just restoring the phone already so I won't bore you with this whole setting up process and I'll come back to you when it's finished oh and by the way before it starts doing the restore it's asking me this do you trust this computer and you want to punch in your iPhone password that you had for your old iPhone and then the restore process will begin okay so it actually didn't start all by itself so I have to come back in here and do restore backup so that's what we want to do okay it's just asking for the password you want to punch in the password for your Mac so you can do this even with a phone that already is set up as well you can see here it's gonna say erase and restore even if you have an iPhone that's not brand new you can still restore it from a previous backup using the same methods we're doing right now then you just wait for the magic to happen so after your iPhone disappears from the finder window don't get alarmed because I see that it's still working here and the phone probably just shut off and that's why it disappeared from the finder so once this actually restarts it'll probably all pop back up with uh, the full restore in place. Yeah, you can see it's popping back up over here, but the phone is still black and still restarting, so let's let it do its thing before we mess with it. And it looks like we're done, guys. I started this at 5.11 p.m. It's now 5.15 p.m. It only took four minutes to do a full restore, okay? Yeah, you gotta do the face ID and stuff like that. They'll ask you to sign into your iCloud account, Pretty much all the standard stuff when you're setting up an iPhone. And now you can see here on the Mac that it's also syncing up a lot of my music and different things like that that it normally does whenever you plug in your iPhone. Okay, so the iPhone restore is now fully completed. Really, it took about seven minutes, but it took me a couple more minutes to punch in all the extra stuff like the credit card info and you're setting up your Apple wallet and all of that. But if you skip all that stuff, it took about seven minutes and now it's downloading all my apps, as you can see, as it would when you do a restore from the iCloud backup. But the reason why you might want to do this is just so that way you can have a backup stored on your computer. You don't have to rely on Apple's iCloud system. They only give you five gigabytes for free. 
So that's a big downer. If you want to store like, you know, a hundred gigabytes worth of data, you can just store it on your Mac completely for free, but you do need to make sure that you're regularly updating it. So that way you do have the latest backup in case you actually need it. So you know who you are if you actually want to do this and need to do this. So just remember to buy that Thunderbolt cable. I'll have the link for that down below. It will come in handy and pay huge dividends when you're trying to do this quickly. Because like for example, this whole restore only took actually four minutes with the actual restore process and then the rest of it was me just punching in all the info on the phone. But if you didn't have a Thunderbolt cable, I just restored like 75, 78 gigabytes worth of data on this iPhone, which is all pictures, music, all kinds of stuff like that. That would have taken probably 20, 30 minutes, no joke. So get the Thunderbolt cable, you'll thank me later. And that's it, you should have all of your data back on your newest iPhone. If you need to know how to back up your iPhone, make sure you check out the video I linked down below on exactly how to do that.